hello soulmates welcome back to my channel this is so with pivot don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up okay thank you so today we're going to be learning how to make those beautiful dress for a girl of 9 to 10 years old so enjoy as you watch so to make these these are what i used i used one yard of satin fabric and then i used half yard of lining this is the lining fabric then i used one and a half yards of flowered cream so i went ahead to fold my satin fabric into four so that we can cut our upper bodies mind you our back measurement is one inches wider than the front our shoulder measurement is 13 inches divided by two is six and a half inches and then i'll go ahead to mark it out next is my half inch shoulder loop so i marked it out here then from that point i'm going to take my armhole measurement which is six and a half inches then i go ahead and connect my neckline width is three inches while for the back neck depth i'll be using one inches my front neck depth will be three inches So I went ahead to connect this way. A half length measurement is 12 inches. Now plus half inches seam allowance, I have 12 and half inches. A chest measurement is 30 inches divided by 4 is 7 and half inches. Then plus 2 inches seam allowance, 9 and half inches. So I'm going to mark it out here. Her waist measurement is 28 inches divided by 4 is 7 inches plus 2 inches allowance 9 inches. So I connected it this way. Then I'm going to go up by half inch from my waistline and then I'll connect it like this. So I'll connect my armhole back to the chest line and then we go ahead and cut, cut, cut. So I'm going to open up my back, my center back bodies, and then this is what we have. Then for my front bodies, I will go ahead and open it up like this. So we want to trace out the new neckline. So basically, I'm going to be connecting the new neckline from the armhole down to the neckline where we marked initially. Okay, so now we want to measure out what we're going to be using for our strap. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring back what we cut and then we'll place it like this. And then I'm marking out the center front line. Then from that point, I'm going to mark out three and a half inches. That's what I did was my neck measurement is three inches plus half inches. That's three and a half inches is what I marked here. Now let me mark out this one that we cut out to be sure of what we have and we have 5 inches. That means that's what we are going to be cutting for our strap. Now our strap, I multiplied it by 2 front and back. That's 5 times 2, 10 inches plus 1 inches seam allowance, 11 inches. Okay, why the width is 3 inches. So I'm going to fold it into 2 this way and then we go ahead and sew. And then I've done that and then this is what we have. So I'm basically going to be turning it inside out using my safety pin. Okay, so this is the back side of our front piece so i'm going to be turning it over now this is the front and then i'm just trying to mark out what we have there and then on that point i'm going to be placing our strap and then i'll use lining to place on it and then we go ahead and sew 
then I took uh, my front piece and then I placed it on my back piece for us to be able to trace out the neckline. I was actually supposed to have done this before now, but I was carried away. So this is me doing it. Um, I traced out my neckline and then I'm cutting it out. Okay, so after cutting it out, I'll turn it out with a um, lining piece that for the part that has shoulder. And then this is it. Um, this is the part that has shoulder. I already cut out, I already turned it out with a lining. So the next thing we're going to do is to join the shoulders and sew. Okay, and then for the other part, I'm going to mark out that three and a half inches we marked initially plus one inch for our zipper. That's four and a half inches is what I marked here. I marked it on the lining piece and on the main fabric. So I'm going to place it on the lining piece first of all. Then I'm going to take my main bodies and place it on it. And then we go ahead and sew. And this is what we have. So let me turn it over so that you see. You can cut off any excess there then turn it over and then this is what we have the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and turn the other parts inside out so that we'll sew up the armhole and then this is what we have i'll go ahead and notch it and then i'll turn it back so if you look at the style very well the front you discover that there's something like a band at the front so for me to cut it out, I'll first of all go ahead and measure out what I have on my waistline, which is 17 and a half inches. So I went ahead to get a piece of fabric and then I cut out 18 and a half inches. And the width is four and a half inches. So basically what I'm going to do is to fold it into two and then I'll use my pressing iron to press it out so that it will stay in place. And then this is it this is what we have so what I'm going to do is to place it this way and then I'm going to attach it by the side now for my belt piece this is what I have um, I have two belt piece I folded it into two basically the length of my belt is 29 inches then while on fold this edge is two inches that's the edge we're attaching to the main bodies why this other end is three and a half inches and then i went ahead to slant this end and then we go ahead and sew so i'm going to do the same thing for the two piece and then i'll go ahead and turn it inside out Okay, so this is what we have I'm trying to cut out the excess then the next thing you can see you can see how it looks then the next thing I'll do is to go ahead and attach the belt so I'm going to attach it this way starting where the band started and then I'll attach the two belts after attaching the belt I'll go ahead to join my back and front bodies together and then we sew And this is what we have our total gown length is 35 inches plus 1 inches seam allowance 36 inches and then our half cut was what 12 inches so I'll, I'll measure from 12 inches down to 36 inches and this is the length of our lower part okay now for the width what I had was about 88 inches so it depends on how full or how scanty you want it but basically you can just do your waistline times three inches or more depending on what you want okay so i went ahead to bring the fabric together so that i can notch my center front so the other end of the fabric i went ahead to fold it in and sew okay so now i'm going to bring my upper bodies and then i'm also going to measure I'm also going to notch the center point and then I'll go ahead and mark it out or notch it.
and then i'm going to bring my lower bodies and then i'm going to match it center to center then from that point i'm going to be marking out three inches all the way up to the end of this fabric so from my center i'm taking out three inches three inches three inches continuously so i'll do it on both sides Okay, so after marking it, I'm going to bring my main body. So let me pleat accordingly. Of center, this will meet center. This other three will meet center. Then I'll take three inches to meet the other three inches. Three inches to meet three inches. Three inches meet three inches. Three inches like that. So until I'm sure that the waistline is completely exhausted, you can see this one now is okay. So I'll go ahead and finish up the other side. Okay, so after doing this you can go ahead and sew it up so that it's going to stay in place and then we go ahead and attach our upper bodies so for me i actually pleated while i was sewing so we'll go ahead and sew and then this is what we have looking so beautiful already okay i just finish it up so i'll go ahead and close up this end and then i will attach my zipper now for the bow tie we have this is the piece of fabric i have the length is 16 and a half while the width is 10 inches so i'll go ahead and fold it into two this way and then we sew i'm going to sew this point now after sewing i'm going to be turning it inside out and then this is what we have so I'm going to take that um, center point to be at the middle and then I went ahead to iron it. This is what we have. So I'll still fold it into two like this and so. And this is what we have. So I'll go ahead and trim off the SS. So I'll go ahead and turn it inside out like this. And then basically I'm just going to form the pleats we have there. So this is me trying to form my pleats. Then after forming it, you can use a piece of fabric to just wrap it or thread. So for me, I just used uh, my needle and thread. Then I wrapped it up with thread. Okay, this is it. Then you go ahead and attach any design of your choice. This was what I could lay my hands on, so I was just trying to see how it looked. But um, anyway, I attached it to the bow. After attaching it, you go ahead and attach your bow to this strap. But for me, I later went ahead to change my trimming. It wasn't giving what I wanted. But then I attached it, and this is the end result of our dress. Isn't this looking so beautiful? Please, if you know you enjoyed this tutorial up to this point, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video to other soul lovers, and eh? give this video a thumbs up, okay? Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.